using cling film or saran wrap or whatever you call it in your country to needle felt with? What on earth is that about? Let's find out. Hey, I'm Pam Duthie and it's a Wednesday, so it must be another needle felting tips, tricks and techniques tutorial. Every Wednesday I try new things to see how they work in the world of needle felting. And over on my Facebook group, Pam Duthie's Felting Friends, if you're not there, go and check it out. Uh, Wendy commented that she'd seen someone was using saran wrap or cling film on their needle felted sculptures. What they'd done was to try and protect one piece when they were working on another, they'd wrapped it in this clingy, horrible food stuff. And then they were surprised when they unwrapped it that it had actually not just protected it, but helped felt it a bit. So I thought we've got to give that a try. This is the stuff I got really cheap from my local Asda PVC cling film. I believe it's called Saran Wrap in other places. If you let me know in the comments down below, what do you call this food clingy stuff in your country? So let's have a look at what I did. Right, so let's experiment with wrapping his leg in cling film for a little while and see what that does. So sorry Jack, let's just put you in an undignified pose. How can this go wrong? Oh yeah, I'm using cling film or saran wrap I believe it's called in other countries. But just gonna pull off a wee strip of this stuff. I can't imagine I'll need more than that. I am terrible with cling film, it usually goes everywhere, so let's hope today is not a day where it goes everywhere. So far so good, we have a piece of cling film. And the instructions have said to roll tightly, which is going to be awkward, but anyway. I don't think I need half as much as this, but it is what it is. Good start, it's not even stuck. Let's take a larger chunk and have it stick onto itself. That's supposed to do be what you do cling film, that's your job. You cling. I hope I can get this off okay as well. There we go, so one leg tightly splinted in cling film. Let's leave it a few days and see what happens. So this little Jack has been wrapped up for nearly a week now and I've been I've been sitting fondling him every now and again. When I'm felting over him I try and remember to touch his leg. This sounds so bad. So let's see how he did. Just gonna hopefully not cut Jack while I'm doing this. Cut along his leg. This looks like this is just going to slip off. Okay, so wrapped leg, not wrapped leg. Let's see what you guys think. Honestly, looking at it, wrapped, unwrapped, I'm not seeing a massive amount of difference. It's maybe slightly less fuzzy. Yeah, it might be a slight bit fuzzy, but I would say as a way to 
firm up your needle felted pieces is probably a lot more fiddly than it's worth. Possibly like the original person had suggested, it might be good if you want to protect one area while you're working on others. But in reality, I've never even found that a problem. The only times that would be a problem is if there's long hair and the last thing you want to be doing is wrapping up the long hair and kind of almost felting that down into the body. So, well, certainly with, with this fleece that I used, which does felt quite easily, I'm going to say it's not really worth the hassle. So, we got a thumbs down one. But thank you so much for joining me and thank you for the ideas. If you have any ideas that you want to see me try, no matter how a bit bonkers they may seem, just leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time.